guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video and in a series of videos, I'm gonna do spring cleaning videos, which I love watching the spring cleaning videos. So I thought, hey, oh, why not? So today we're gonna start with my room. I'm gonna actually like reorganize, well not reorganize it, move it around. Cause I'm kind of getting bored of how it looks. And I sit like right there. So in the mornings, the sun just like, <laughs> It's me straight on, and I guess I'm forced to wake up, but I don't want to yet. <clears throat> so, I want to rearrange my room. So I'm going to do that, and plus I'm going to give you guys tips and tricks during me doing this. So, you know, it's, you're just not watching me clean. You're actually learning something through it, hopefully. I hope. <laughs> okay, but please like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below. It really does help my channel. And yeah let's get right into it so the first thing i need to do really is we're having a baby shower tomorrow and this should be up like a little bit before so hopefully the girl doesn't know yet but i have to get rid of all that move it to another room for now just to you know clean up that's like usually the first thing you're supposed to do before you start decluttering or moving things around is actually clean like the basic clean so like my bed is made i have to get rid of that and just make, just make sure everything is like decent so let's do that but I don't want you guys to watch so just okay so that is done Whew. okay honestly it was a lot more than I thought and I got hit in the face but okay so that is that so now I'm thinking well you'll just see it I'm moving things but like with your house and pretty much where you live there are like certain things you like want from your house especially like with minimalism you want the space for stuff that you love not just clutter which I feel like I have a lot of today so I'm hoping to get rid of some of that the first thing that I recommend if you're just starting to be like minimalistic and wanting to pursue that is start small don't start you know with one massive project like I don't know, the kitchen, like the whole kitchen. You don't want to start with that. You want to start maybe a little bit small with, with a junk drawer and actually finish it, not just start. Because that's what happens when you start big is you get overwhelmed and you don't really do the things that you were setting out to do. So start small, that's my first start. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna move the couch and all that like over here so I can move the bed that way. Should be fun. <laughs> Next, I recommend sweeping. I'm gonna go get the broom. people actually kind of get stuck when they're they think okay they first think that they're just unorganized people but and I actually thought that too I was trying so hard to be very organized and then I've learned some things that you don't you're not actually unorganized you just have way too much stuff so you just have too much stuff so once you get rid of the stuff then you can start organizing, which is really nice. So I finished moving all that stuff over there, which I guess I should show you. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? <laughs> You're not gonna stand here. You're on the tripod, so you know, this is difficult. But okay, now I have to move this little thingy, my nightstand, somewhere over there. I don't know. And then I get to move my bed over. So let's do that. I need a beverage when I'm doing this. This is ridiculous. So, tea gets me through things. <laughs> it's, amazing how, it's amazing how many spiders there are. I'm really gonna get rid of our shoes. I have way too many and it's about to be summer so 
I could probably like throw out some of the boots that I don't use anymore that are way too worn and throw them out and then kick any ones later on. <sighs> but yes, I have way too many shoes. You're about to see. Watch. I'm debating whether to have the bed like this or like this. I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess I could put the couch over here in this corner. <laughs> I do. No. You know, one thing that's really good with like decluttering is to set yourself a timer. Like, give yourself 10 minutes to get the things that you want to declutter. I think I'm gonna move the bed like this against the wall. I'm not liking it there. I don't know why. I feel like it's less space or something. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so, I put it like that, and now I'm gonna move the couch, like, back. Yeah, no, I'm gonna move it this way, because there's more room on this wall, so I can have a bunch of, stuff. well, not a bunch of stuff, but I can have stuff on this wall, and it's not gonna fit right there. So, yay! I'm kind of happy with that right now, of how it's looking. I noticed that, like, on the other side I had a diagonal, but I don't like a diagonal on this side, I like it like that. Weird, huh? Whatever. Okay, so now it's kind of just like the finishing touches for it all. So here. Okay. So like, I need to look through each one of these. Each one is like storage. And I just need to look through them and see what I have in there. What needs to go in the trash. What needs to if be donated. And stuff like that. And like... Everything on the walls, like the books and stuff, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep. There's, yeah, pretty much nothing I wouldn't keep. Except maybe, like, these little things. I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> I'm tired. This is like a workout. Even though, like, thank God my bed has wheels, because if not, oof, I would not like it. I would not. I wouldn't be able to do it by myself, as in. But okay. Let's come to moving that. Thinking about it, I'm realizing that's in the same spot. Oh well, apparently I like it there. So I think this is how I want it. I think. Let's show you. Let me show you. Okay. So the bed right here, pretty much under the window, which I kind of like, and it's not really gonna affect me that much. Nightstand, obviously, by the bed. I think that's obvious. Now here, this is the part like I really wanted because look. So the lighting is beautiful right here. So this is pretty much where I would want to record. Ooh, wait. <sighs> Crap. Well, I'll have other lighting, so I should be fine. So I think I'm leaving the couch there with that thing in the corner. And therefore, I could like actually put books on top of there and not just, you know, a plant. <laughs> okay. And 
that dude, he just moves. He doesn't go anywhere specific. But he could probably kind of fit tucked away in this corner. See? There's speed. Maybe. I don't know. Why is it that in the middle of like decluttering and all that, you get, you just want to finish and you don't want to keep going. That's how I feel right now. But my dad's watering outside, so if you hear that, that's what it is. But more tips. I feel like I need to add more tips to these videos. And I have many. Okay. So another tip that is really good is give everything a home make sure everything has a place where it can be and i like how i'm saying that right after i said my little ottoman doesn't go anywhere everything needs to have a home if it doesn't have a home then find a place for it and if you can't really find a place for it do you really need it i mean it saves you space and it saves time cleaning when everything has a home because then you know where everything goes but if you don't have a home for certain things, then they kind of just get tossed from here to there and you don't really end up cleaning, you end up having a bunch of clutter, which is not, which is not what you want, really. So I highly recommend that you give everything a home. So now I guess it's just organizing, putting the shoes back, putting everything back where it should go. So I'm pretty much done, I believe. Everything is clean. I threw out everything I was gonna throw throw out. And I think I'm good. I feel like a little bit out of breath, but I think I'm okay. Okay, so first thing is this pretty much stayed the same. I didn't really want to move it. So the bed did end up finally under the window and it looks so pretty. It usually is like that after you declutter. After a day, it's just, you know, not the same. But anyway, it's on the corner. I love having my bed in the corner. I have no idea why, but I love it there because I just, well, okay, there's an, there's one massive reason. It's because it gives me more space in my room. If I get married, then I won't be in the middle, but you know, whatever, now I can. So nightstand right there, nice and beautiful. My tripod. <laughs> um, okay, so this part, I made this little space here for my backpack and that table shelf thing and i really like it there because i like that it's cornered that's what was really bugging me about this table it's because it wasn't cornered over there and now it's cornered and i could put stuff against it and now the poor plant has been taking a beating because of the curtain so now you know it should heal up okay so now the couch is there which i'm really happy and it's under the books and the lighting so i really like this and on this side i put the trash can Though I might move it, my little table, my little table, my little chair with the towels on it and the ottoman pretty much ends up everywhere because I use it for a lot of stuff so wherever I need it, that's where I put it. So yeah, that is pretty much what I have done with the bedroom and I'm loving it so far for the first two minutes that I've had it. Here you're going to go on the tripod. I was kind of like wanting to do it, not wanting to do it. But whatever. 
So, final tips on the whole decluttering thing, decluttering your home. Pretty much you have to figure out what you want. The three values you have for your home, that you want for your home. Mine is warmth, simplicity, and, and there was another one. I forgot it, I forgot it. Okay, warmth, simplicity, and stability is what I want for my home, which is my room right now, and whatever I have in the future. That's pretty, what, pretty much what I want. Now, for tips, you have to, once you get that baseline, then you will be able to really figure out how you're going to set up your home and all that. Wow, my hair looks really flat. The last thing was, you know, it's kind of hard to get rid of sentimental items. So what I normally do, well, what I started to do was not get rid of them right away, was to hold on to them and get rid of the stuff I really didn't care about. And you slowly build up to them. And that way... You're pretty much in the mindset of decluttering already and you get to learn what actually matters and it's okay just because you get rid of this item doesn't mean you get rid of the memory so it's okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like it subscribe and hit that notification bell down below if you guys are into decluttering let me know and i will do more videos like this which i am going to do this is a series the four week series for the month of March about spring cleaning and I love spring cleaning so thank you all for watching please like it and I'll see you in the next video bye guys